Liz Truss is finally triggering Article 16 of the Northern Ireland Protocol as part of the Brexit deal. The European Union are absolutely furious and Theresa May has decided to take the side of Brussels. Hello, everyone. welcome back to the show. We are going to get to Theresa May and her behavior or misbehavior when it comes to uh, supporting the United Kingdom and Brexit Britain. But Liz Truss is uh, allegedly finally triggering Article 16. We've been saying this for the past, well, 16 years now. Um, well, we have to actually make sure that officially the document actually goes through before we announce some sort of celebration. But it seems like Boris Johnson and Liz Truss are uh, quite focused and robust on this issue now because there's absolutely no solution. Surprise, surprise, the European Union are having a meltdown. One of them is Olaf Scholz of Germany. The German Chancellor has obviously replaced uh, Angela Merkel a while ago. Uh, she, well, clearly, he's not as strong and stable as Angela Merkel. Uh, that, that, that says it tells you something. But he, come, he comes out to say, no one should unilaterally scrap or break or in any way change the, the arrangement we agreed on together. For the record... Article 16 is part of the Brexit deal. It's legal. It's not some sort of breaking or scrapping. Or it, you, you agreed. You agreed to actually include Article 16 and the potential triggering of Article 16 in the Brexit deal. So I'm not really sure why they're, they're treating us like some sort of... We are the bad guys in this game. We even had the Belgian Prime Minister, who's also not very happy, and even more direct, complete meltdown. It comes out to say, EU's message is quite clear. Don't touch this. This is something we agreed on. Clearly, they have some sort of uh, WhatsApp groups to uh, use the same line. It's a very, very unifying line for once <laughs> for the European Union. It is something we already agreed on, according to Belgium and Germany. Now, the funny thing is, this woman, Theresa May, who promised us Brexit means Brexit. She became Prime Minister with that promise to deliver Brexit. But then we found out that she never actually believed in Brexit Britain. She, she thought the whole EU referendum, the result, was a problem that she wanted to fix rather than an opportunity to actually use to thrive. This is what she said in Parliament uh, yeah, over the last, obviously, this week is going to be a massive debate uh, when Boris Johnson was in the chamber. And just pay attention to Boris's uh, facial expression and body language is absolutely beautiful. Can I say to my right honourable friend, and he will not be surprised if I uh, say this, that I do not feel that that would be the right move for the government, uh, that I think the government needs to consider not just some immediate issues, but also the wider sense of what such a move would say about the United Kingdom and its willingness to abide by treaties which it has signed. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely with Boris and his facial expressions at that point, because why is she doing this? She knows how these negotiations work. She should learn from her own mistakes and learn from history. But no, she's still taking the EU side. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. Let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are. Do we have any faith in the Article 16 actually being triggered? Because it is apparently the process has started. They are going to be triggering it, but I'll believe it when I see it. Subscribe to the channel, I'm MyTC, and we are the media.